Once upon a time, somebody dug up some stuff out of the ground and somehow figured out that when they got it really, really hot, it changed and was no longer a rock, but it was hard and they could use it to make stuff. I became a blacksmith simply because I had a long time compulsion to work with metal. I used to love to watch people welding and working with iron. A very good friend of mine who is still a mentor fired up his forge, stuck some hot iron in my hand with a hammer and I've been pounding iron ever since. I spent a lot of time learning blacksmithing on a very traditional level taking old techniques of joinery and using them to put together contemporary styles of metal with rivets, collars, and technology that's been around for hundreds of years. And, and what we do today is just all a, a variation of what's been done forever. Currently, amongst a lot of people, there's a great deal of romance with blacksmithing and hot metal and fire and all that sort of thing. My attraction to blacksmithing was it gave me great satisfaction to be able to heat up the metal and make it do stuff. Oh, the dangers of being a blacksmith. Well, look at my hands. Uh, they're loaded with scars. I got this one. This is a really good one right here. I consider my expertise in architectural blacksmithing. You're not going to make a living on those. You still need the guy that comes in and says, you know, I've got a piece of something that needs to be fixed. I love all of it. I love being able to be the fixer. I like to be the designer. I like all aspects of it are what really challenge my brain. I've done a number of architectural projects over the years. I've done restaurants, I've done bed and breakfasts, Victorian restorations and things like that. Runs the gamut. One of my favorite pieces I've done, I did a bed and breakfast in Stillwater that I really was proud of. In order to rent out spaces on that third level, there has to be a fire escape kind of worked together and developed a really nice third level balcony and I was really proud of that when I was all done. Currently I spend a lot of time here at the Chicago Avenue Fire Arts Center as an instructor. We have a, a full program with some excellent instructors. There's just a lot of talented people doing a lot of cool stuff in here as it relates to fire. The Fire Arts Center has brought together and made a venue that we can teach all of these things and do it in a safe environment and that brings it to the common person. What does it mean to me to be a maker? I think that's everything, you know. We are all makers in some form or another and it's just a matter of what form you pick. I just get tremendous amount of satisfaction out of the challenge of a problem and working out a solution and all the stuff that goes into bringing that solution to fruition. It's an addiction. You just don't get over it. <laughs> Do I ever fail? Oh yeah, everybody fails. Everybody fails. You know, you'll come up with some plan and, and you'll work through it and you try to work it and oh boy, that was a big waste of time. And believe it or not, that actually happens more often than, than you succeed. But when you do succeed, when you are actually able to take a problem, work out the solution, and everything works, then it's, that's just, that's way cool.